Hi, Florence. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel respected on, on set? set. <laughs> um, I feel respected in terms of people like liking my performance mm -hmm. or something like that. Even if I don't feel that mm -hmm. way. I feel like I often get validation. Mm -hmm. But I don't always feel respected as a younger woman mm -hmm. because I sometimes feel like people treat me like a child totally. or just don't take my ideas seriously. Sure. I don't think that people don't listen. That's never yeah. the case. I definitely have witnessed that age is an ongoing battle yeah. because everybody else will know more than you and everybody yeah. else will be older than you. Yeah. And, and quite frankly, unless it's the best idea in the world, yeah. Of course, there's no reason to, I suppose, believe in whatever it is that you're trying to sell. So yeah, age is a tricky thing yeah. to get respect from. I think it also sometimes comes internally where mm -hmm. I assume well, they're older, they've done this mm -hmm. for a much longer time, maybe my instinct on this is wrong. Mm -hmm. It's not my place. You don't have the stripes yet. Yeah, yeah. I also think set is a, an incredibly stressful and yeah. hugely, it, there's so much pressure to speak up causes silence and mm -hmm. it causes a moment for everybody to just look at you and, and listen like, to you for a second. Wasting time. Yeah, yeah, wasting time is a massive thing. Yeah. And so I think that's definitely over the years something that I've prevented myself from uh, saying something or offering something up because of that. Yeah. But I suppose if you think about any job, the youngest person is always going to feel mm -hmm. like they can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you choose your roles? I mean, it starts with a script, I yeah. think. Um, and then does the role have an arc? And I'm not usually focused as much on like the size of a role as much yeah. as, is this just interesting? Yeah. I'm similar with you in, in choosing roles that I, I don't really care mm -hmm. what genre it is. I don't really care how big the role is. If there's something that has made me fall in love with that character, whether she's amazing or yeah. evil or kills a child, yeah. like I don't, I don't mind as long as she is exciting and bizarre yeah. and confusing yeah. and thrilling because that's exactly, that's what we are as humans. Yeah. Like, there is nothing 100% about us at all. I also think the idea of putting women in a good light, I actually mm -hmm. think is really confining yeah. for the identity yeah. of a woman because totally. I think we are all things. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important to see that we can be morally unstable mm -hmm. as well and and not always strong and not always strong and being vulnerable and making bad decisions yeah. or being not the measure of morality yeah. essentially and i don't know if portraying like portraying a woman in a good light means just portraying women and the honesty of humanity mm -hmm. or if it's sort of a connotation of like making sure this is like a strong great mm -hmm. character i mean to me portraying a woman in good light is just giving her something yeah give her something that will resonate with people when they leave mm -hmm. and that's when i watch films i'm like oh my goodness i'm in love with her i don't know why yeah. <laughs> For a long time, people thought that I was a murderer uh, <laughs> <laughs> because I, I killed so many people in, yeah. in a film. <laughs> are you? Like, I thought you'd be like, are you a murderer? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you think you choose things to counteract that, or no. are you kind of like no. oh. different films will bring different fans, and I know that, but I don't think I'm making decisions to make sure that people don't think of me as a murderer because yeah. I, that's not why we like scripts. Yeah. That, you know, I think it has to be more than that, as we've just said. Yeah. She's amazing, but it's not for me. And yeah. I feel that so, like, honestly mm. in my bones. Like, I'm not right for this mm. because this needs a specific type of woman. Mm. And I also think that that's our jobs to put our hands up and yeah. say, you know, that the character deserves more, I think. And respecting the story. Totally. And respecting. Totally. I totally agree. Yeah. Like, I actually get that, like, with hair a lot, yeah. actually. Like, where I think people like my hair and yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. And, but I think sometimes a character isn't that. No. I always feel very strongly about upholding the integrity mm -hmm. of who the person is mm -hmm. above any sort of, like, political statement yeah. or above any ideal of what, you know, we should be portraying mm -hmm. nowadays and in oh, media God, yeah. uh, versus what is just truth mm -hmm. for this character. I have like women that I've just always adored mm -hmm. and always loved. Mm -hmm. Most of them are actors. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, actresses who are acting and are of age and are older, there's something so graceful mm -hmm. about being able to accept 
your transformation as a mm-hmm. person and as a performer and leaning into it mm-hmm. and still working, you know, which is why acting is such a wonderful career because it yeah. embraces the metamorphosis of humanity mm-hmm. and you can change and still share that. There's nothing more fascinating and more beautiful than when you see creases on a face. Yeah. And um, to me, that's always been like the pinnacle of acting. If you can be the age that you are and look the age that you are and and be totally proud of that. Yeah. Um, Yeah, and not apologize for it. Don't apologize for it. And if anybody questions it, you fire back straight out. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Lovely. Love. I guess that's it. I don't know what we just said. Good job. Good job.